Intermolecular forces control many important properties of liquids, such as viscosity and boiling point. To know why, we need to understand the attractive intermolecular forces that occur between molecules. The molecules in solids and liquids stay close together due to these attractive forces. But once these forces are overcome, the molecules transition to the gas phase, where intermolecular forces are negligible due to the larger distances between gas molecules. There are three main types of intermolecular forces, all with varying degrees of strength. The weakest of those being London dispersion forces. German-American physicist Fritz London realised in 1930 that electrically neutral non-polar atoms such as helium could be liquefied. Anything that can be a liquid must have attractive intermolecular forces at play. Here we have two electrically neutral helium atoms. Their electrons are 180 degrees from each other and there is no dispersion force. However, Fritz London realised that the electrons could become unevenly distributed within the electron cloud, causing an instantaneous or momentary dipole moment. As the electrons end up on one side of the electron cloud, it forces the positive nucleus to momentarily shift away. This has an effect on the electrons in neighbouring atoms and causes them to also achieve an instantaneous dipole moment. This leads to an induced dipole-induced dipole interaction known as the London dispersion force. The strength of this dispersion force depends on how easily the electrons can be distorted within the electron cloud, but generally increases with increasing number of electrons, which corresponds to increasing molecular weight. The second intermolecular force is dipole-dipole interactions. If a molecule has a permanent dipole moment, then these molecules will have dipole-dipole interactions with each other, where the positive and negative ends of each molecule line up. In the solid phase, the positive and negative ends get very close, which restricts any movement of the molecules past each other, hence the solid phase. As some energy is supplied in the form of heat, these attractive forces start to weaken, allowing the molecules to flow smoothly past one another. This is called the liquid phase. If further heat is supplied, then the dipole-dipole interactions are completely overcome and the liquid transitions to the gas phase, where large distances between each molecule occur. Dipole-dipole interactions have a strong effect on boiling points. Here we have two molecules with very similar molecular weights. However, propane is a non-polar molecule and therefore only has dispersion forces as the attraction between them. Hence, it's very low boiling point of 231 Kelvin or minus 42 degrees Celsius. Acetone nitrile, on the other hand, is very polar and has the combined effects of dispersion forces and dipole-dipole interactions. This means more energy has to be supplied in order to break these attractions, hence the higher boiling point of 355 Kelvin or 82 degrees Celsius. The third and strongest of intermolecular forces is hydrogen bonding. This is a special type of dipole-dipole interaction between the hydrogen atom and the highly electronegative elements nitrogen, oxygen and fluorine. When hydrogen forms a covalent bond with these elements, a strong polar bond is formed. When two of these molecules approach each other, the significant difference in polarity encourages a strong intermolecular bond. And because the hydrogen atom is so small and electron deficient, it approaches the highly electronegative NO and F atoms very closely, ensuring an abnormally strong bond. Hydrogen bonds are often formed with molecules that have OHN groups, such as acetic acid and 1-propanol. They have identical molecular weights, and the boiling points of each are shown. Acetic acid has a higher boiling point because it is able to form two hydrogen bonds with each neighbouring atom. One propanol has a lower boiling point because it can only form one hydrogen bond with neighbouring atoms. In summary, the weaker the intermolecular forces, the lower the boiling point, 
and the stronger the intermolecular forces, the higher the boiling point. 